What is happening guys? I am Manny the Phenom of Phenom Studios here to do another comic review for you. Today we have the Infinity Watch. This is volume one. A very, very big one here. Got a lot of different issues in here. Um, you're going to see some issues that you saw in my last review of the Infinity Gauntlet Aftermath. There's some crossover comics in here, so I'll skim over those. But um, the Infinity Watch, yeah, so the Infinity, Wa the Infinity Watch is... Uh, I guess I'll, they're gonna show it in this in this comic here, so I'll show you what's up. The Infinity Watch is so uh, after Adam Adam Warlock gets the gauntlet from Thanos defeats Thanos, he is uh, put on trial, man. Uh, the the the, li the living embodiment of eternity here, uh, or infinity, or the universe. Then we'll say the universe. Yeah, he's putting this guy on trial. Like, come on, this guy is not mentally stable. So this a bunch of this is just a great comic here, man. Just seeing Adam Warlock and the universe here <laughs> go at it. Just awesome writing by Jim Starlin. Awesome drawings by Angel Mendia. Uh, one, I, I love this. I love it. It's short, but just crisp and sweet and just perfect. I love it. I love it. Love it. Love it. Anyways, what happens is Adam Warlock. Uh, with some manipulation a little bit or some uh, advice from the Living Tribunal. And he has to give up the, the gems. So so the deal is that Adam Warlock will decide who to give the gems to. And that's how the Infinity Watch is made. He gives the, the gems to these buffoons here. Uh, just really weird why he chose these guys. Um, but you did and they they ended up getting the gems we saw all this and in, in, in the last book the uh, infinity gauntlet aftermath if you haven't seen i made a review on that so you can just look that up on my page i'll, I'll put a link actually in the video so you don't have to do any kind of search and go if you want to see it it's there so yeah uh he ends up uh, getting all these people rounding him up and basically he's like guys whatever you're doing in your lives stop it uh, none of that matters. You're gonna be in charge of the gems, and we're a team now, and we're gonna live together. And you have, there's nothing you can do about it. Okay. Uh, cool image I was talking about in the last, the last video. This was also in the last book. A lot of this was in the last book, so... Uh, yeah, he, he goes to meet, um, what's this guy's name? Forgot his name. Oh, the High Evolutionary. But the High Evolutionary kind of lost his mind. The, the Infinity Watch gets captured by this mysterious figure who ends up being the Man Beast. Um, the Infinity Watch gets captured like that. Like they all are idiots and can't use their powers. They just get taken over. Oh, Ultrasonics! Oh no! Boom! Done. Uh, Adam Warlock has to end up saving all these guys. Um, he fights this. Infinity Gem Monster. Uh, this is the Infinity Watch. They're like in a giant bubble. The, 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 the gems, the power of the gems get absorbed and it makes this giant monster. And more like ends up defeating it and the Infinity Watch end up on an island. Oh look, the Magnus. Yeah, Adam Warlock is content constantly like, kind of like losing his mind. So that's his dark side, the Magnus. No! Wakes up. Da da da, the island. Uh, the island they're on ends up being the island of the Mole Man. He's on Monster Island. So what happens is they end up striking a deal that the Mole Man lets the Infinity Watch stay on his island. He'll give them a home, they'll give, he'll give them drinks, food, like whatever they want. Um, but I guess the Mole Man kind of just wants. I don't know, he wants. Security. He wants uh, a team. He wants to be a. He wants the Infinity Watch to be part of his group, and he has plans of making that public and like broadcasting that in the future. But uh, they they end up coming to terms. Uh, that's why Adam Warlock is an interesting character. Like no, no normal hero would ever team up with this guy, but he ends up teaming up so, just so they have a place to stay. This is the last member of the Affinity Watch. Uh, he he wasn't revealed until now. He has the reality gem. Adam Warlock, in his omnipotent, godlike mind, 
when he had the jump, when he had the gauntlet, he's, he that's when he decided where the gems were going to go before he took them off. And he gave everyone a gem, and then he gave Thanos a gem, or the reality gem, which is probably like the worst gem to give him, the rea reality gem. That's the that's a big one. Well, I would have given him the freaking what, what's the one he has? He has the one that he can teleport. That gem. Oh, the space gem. I would have given him that, like the, the most least important one. But he gave him a reality gem. And um, so I forget why they. I, I don't know why. I think Thanos called them. So like something's going down. So uh, yeah, they're on this asteroid or whatever. Um, so weird stuff happens. Thanos is kicking it with the crew. Everything's going good. Look at this. Look at this. This is 90s uh, interpretation of women. Just like what the heck? You seen you seen porn stars wear that? Not a superhero. She's not really a superhero either. She's kind of bad to be honest. But she's trying to figure out how to do use the, the mind gem. Like none of these guys really know how to use the gems to their fullest, fullest extent. So she's been practicing learning. Uh, Gamora has no idea how to use to use the time gem. The most Pip could do is teleport it. Uh, Drax certainly doesn't know how to use the power gem, but he seems to tap into it whenever he needs it. He'll ta tap into it unconsciously. But um, okay, so I guess Thor, uh, Thanos came uh, came across the Magnus, and that's why he's trying to team up with Infinity Watch because the Mag he can't handle the Magnus by himself. And then they have he has a sparring competition with Gamora, like everything's good now. He <laughs> he, you wouldn't see this in the movie, like they're all cool, like all smiles. Um, and apparently she's way more powerful in. Uh, in the comics then she is in the movie. She literally does seem like the deadliest woman in the universe in the comics. And she's going toe-to-toe -to -toe with Thanos and uh, she's kicking his butt, does a little throat chop, and technically she wins, but then she's like, ah, if you're really fighting, I wanna have one. So, ha <laughs> ha ha. Friends, this guy literally like eradicated half the universe, I don't know, a week ago, a week ago in the comics. Now everything's good. But that's how the comics are, I just, you gotta keep selling them, so one sword to the next. And then the whole entire like Marvel Universe pops up behind the, these guys out of nowhere, and it ends here. Like, I would have liked to have seen what happened, but they don't cover that anywhere in, in the next issues. So they don't talk about what this is, so it just ends here. This is pretty cool. Is this the right issue? Yes, yeah, it's is cool. So what happens, you have Galactus and Thanos. This is old school, Gamora, new school. She's just a puppet and they're controlling her. Uh, so Galactus takes her and he needs her help. So he, he uses her um, to, 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 to free the, 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 the universe. I don't know what his, what his name is. Eternity, I think his name is. Eternity. So he uses her to free him. He's trapped. The Magnus trapped him. So he's using her to to go inside like this kind of what do you call it? She enters. She enters something. I forgot what she enters. I guess she answered this thing. And that's where he is, but but through that they're showing her backstory, which is this is really cool. Who wrote this? Her backstory, uh, like when she was a kid, Thanos gets her, um, trains her, Jim Starlin. Yeah, awesome story. Jim Starlin is the freaking goat. This this so he's training her to be the deadliest woman in the universe. Yeah, yeah. she's uh, but he and he tells her to stay on the ship, like don't go off the ship ever. But she's young, she wants to explore. What's in what ends up happening is she meets she's like in an alley and then she meets up with these goons and apparently they're too much for her and they they ambush her they're pulling her he has a knife to her and just a really creepy dude he ends up 
raping her. Uh, is what I gathered from that. And you're back to the main storyline. She's breaking off the chain, the, the cuffs, the binds. Um, and uh, she's just beaten and beaten and battered. And the Thanos comes. You see these dudes. He killed them all. Her shirt's ripped. Her bones are crushed. She is messed up. So how she gets so strong is like he picks her up and brings her back to the ship and um, he does he puts like alien tech into her like machinery and and just kind of like redoes her whole body like her whole makeup and um, she gets all these enhancements all these enhan enhancements and she has these scars but the, they say that they will heal and she's a new woman and she never wants to be used again. That's why she, this, this, this story is interesting because Galactus is using her against her will. Like she has no choice in the matter. He he needed this chick to do this, and she has no control. He needed like some kind of puppet. He was on the outside controlling her. He needed to stay on the outside. So she breaks that, and then here comes infinity. With uh, eternity is infinity. So this guy's eternity. That's what I thought. And this is infinity. So she releases them. They're free. Um, and then they're kind of just done with their, like, thank you for your good deeds, and they walk off. And she just feels used, and just pretty sad, actually. But interesting, good, good story. The Clash of the Titans, and then you bounce to this. So, this freaking book is just bouncing everywhere. It's really, really weird, because you're missing so many stories in between. Jim Starlin, Angel Mandia, um, Thanos is fighting a doppelganger that the Magnus made, created. Uh, really cool dialogue, because he, he's not just a doppelganger, he's like an exact copy, so they have the same strength, um, same thought process, uh, but they end up having to go at it, and um, our Thanos, the, the real one, he ends up coming on, coming out on top somehow. But this, he has to like deal with kind of internal matters. Since he lost the Infinity Gauntlet, and Adam Warlock looked into his soul, he revealed some things to Thanos that has made him a little weaker, like right now. And so during the battle, a lot of inner dialogue is going on, and Thanos has to reconcile his inner personal demons or whatever. And he ends up being able to do that, and he comes out on top. Um, just good dialogue. Jim Starlin is, is an awesome writer when it comes to like soul searching stuff. So this Sano turns into like the, the doppelganger turns into a butterfly, he eats the butterfly and gets his powers back and he's good to go. Warlock and the Infinity Watch. So now, now we bounce back to what we got here. Gamora backstory, getting, getting, getting picked up by Thanos. Who's, who did the art for this? This is weird art. Really cartoonish. Steve Carr and Daryl Skeleton Pencils. Yeah, I'm a, I definitely prefer Angel Medea's penciling. Okay, so you're, showing, you're seeing the origins for the whole Infinity Watch. Oh, I remember now. So it's already it went to the Living Tribunal, and he's like, dude, the gems are like in the worst hands possible in the universe. And he's pleading with uh, the Living Tribunal, like, give me the gems. I'll, I'll have, it'll be, it'll, it'll, they'll be better protected in my hands. Not in the hands of like all these people who have all these mental issues, and you go and he's and you're um, you're shown all the origin stories and why all these people have so many mental issues. Like as a kid, her whole race gets ex gets extinct. She's saved by Thanos. And... Is that a Thanos doll? <laughs> it's a Thanos doll. It's funny. Um, yeah, all these people, all these people have issues. Uh, you have Moon Dragon. Oh, Pip the Troll was turned like um, had his own backstory. Moon Dragon and Jack's Destroyer, their father and daughter, but they end up going through her stuff, their own stuff. She, she's she's pretty bad. She tries taking over planets and and she has a weird backstory. Anyways, none of them are fit. Like I'm I'm with Eternity on this one. She killed Drax, and he ended up being resurrected. But uh, the Living Tribunal kind of defends Adam Warlock's decision, and 
he pleads the case, and um, I mean it makes sense the way he, the, or the, the way the Living Tribunal is putting it. And uh, eventually, uh, apparently, he doesn't get his way and accepts that things are out of his control and whatever he has to live with it. Oh, look at that! The besties. We're walking the community watch. What's going on here? Oh, so he's starting to get his memory back. Uh, he doesn't know that he's the father of her. She kind of, she's been helping him a bit with his memory. She was like looking into his head, but he's still crazy. Adam Warlock um, is unconscious. So they ended up beating, beating the Magnus. They didn't show any of that and he's unconscious. She's freaking out. She's having visions like of the future. He comes back to Earth. <clears throat> he ends up fighting the Hulk. The Hulk just him and the Hulk destroy a whole um, block. They destroy local property and local storefronts for nothing. They're, they're not fighting for any real reason. They're just destroying the road and causing millions or tens of thousands, hundreds of thousand dollars in damage um, for nothing. And they, they don't. They're not even bothered by that. Pretty interesting how these comics were back then, really silly. But they really don't give a shit about anything. Like there, there can be people in these windows, but they're just destroying buildings. Who gives a crap? Anyways, Jackson's up leaving. Yada yada. The Infinity Watch back on the Monster Island, where they stay at. Uh, the UN sends these boats. So they want to take over Monster Island because the mole, the mole rat dude, doesn't actually own. The island, and they're trying to take it over. Um, Gamora ends up defeating all these guys by herself, the whole military. She's really strong, apparently. She's fl she's flipping tanks. She they're saying that she has the power of Iron Man. Hit the troll has the power of Spider-Man, like strength-wise. So these guys are super strong. Eternity ends up waking Adam Warlock from his slumber. Saying that we need you, man. Something, something, something's about to go down. So you have all these different Adam Warlocks from his past that he doesn't want to think about. He doesn't want to reconcile with. Like he's trying to leave these guys in the, in the past because Adam Warlock has been all over the place with his character in the past. Uh, trying to keep it. Like he's been learning as he goes. So you have the Magnus. You have him. How he originally started. Um, this is when he met up with. Um, What's the guy's name? The guy's name. This guy. Wait, no. This guy. Oh, the High Evolutionary. This is when the High Evolutionary found him and gave him the Soul Gem. This is when he fought uh, the Magnus for the first time, and this is his evil side. So he has to fight these guys and. He doesn't want to accept the past, he doesn't want to accept that part of him, but Eternity ends up making him, and he forces him against Adam, Adam's, Adam's will. And he's like, pleading, please don't do this to me. Please! And he's just screaming, no! And they end up, please, he's begging, and they, they're part of him. <clears throat> Completion, do you not see the necessity? Yes, but I shall never forgive you this indignity. So he ends up waking up, and uh, he now know what he, he now knows what he must do. This is a weird story here. Um, the abyss, these shadow guys end up coming. Uh, they they attack their home. Um, they beat Drax really quickly, who has the strength of Hulk, and he has a power, power gem. He has more strength than the Hulk. He has unlimited source of power. Um, he ends up getting beaten really easily. Um, no one can attack, like physical attacks don't work. He tries the soul gem, she tries the mind gem, nothing's working. To be honest, I really don't know how they beat him. It makes, it doesn't make any sense. Uh, nothing, no spirit, mind, physical, nothing's working. Soul, nothing's working. And, but then they turn into this black and white kind of cloud and they're beaten somehow. And the mastermind behind it is this guy. I don't know who, they, who this is. They don't, they don't go into detail. Uh, but he wants the soul gem, and I'm well, so I'm gonna give it to him. Excuse me. And then this guy pops up, Maxim. 
randomly pops up. On the island. Um, the more had visions of this guy killing Adam Warlock. So she doesn't like him. And they're just attacking him, of course. He lost his memory. Uh, he's not trying to fight them, but they fight him because then they're they're that's how they handle their problems, just physical. So they're trying to fight this dude and um, Adam Warlock ends up taking him down like a boss. Like he's just chilling. Uh, he's seeing he's like hiding on the uh, like not hiding, he's sitting on the outside just watching everything go down, just chilling. Um and he just hits him with like a mind or a soul blast or whatever. It's called a karmic blast. I don't know what that means, but he takes him out. And then you they, you skip to you skip to uh, her. This is the this is the female the good I don't know if it's the good side, but the female side that Adam Warlock has been denying in himself. She somehow gets released from him or whatever. They don't go over anything, but she's collecting all all these superheroes and makes a big group. Um, Thor's in the group. Moon Dragon's like second in command. You got Thor, Captain America's in it, and. Uh, so you have her group against the other heroes, and we're trying to find out what's going on. Yada yada. They end up, they end up going against her. They end up. They don't. <laughs> this this comic doesn't show how they beat her. Uh, they're showing just the Infinity Watch and like the backstory. But they don't. They don't. They don't talk about anything other than the backstory, not the main timeline or the main storyline, just backstories. Drax versus, Drax versus Thor. Awful art. Look at this hammer. Look at his body. Who did this? This is so bad. It's just really bad art. Jim Starlin wrote it. Tom Grenningberg pencils. Who the heck is Tom? Tom, you're, you're awful, man. So you have the UN that attacks the, the monster island again and the, the mole man deals with them easily. He's going into the chick's soul, uh, trying to fight her off. And um, this cool art here, mole rat being burnt alive. It wasn't, it didn't actually happen. But this is the, they, they sum up the whole story how they, how they beat. Oh, it's the Infinity Crusade, so that's what they were showing issues in the Infinity Crusade. But they don't actually show what, how it ends, or how it began, really. But they just sum up what happens. That's the Infinity Watch. Uh, a, lot of, a lot of random issues in here. A lot of good stuff, too. Uh, mainly at the beginning. The Infinity, the Infinity Crusade is a weird comic storyline. Doesn't make too much sense. Uh, even for comic book purposes. Mm. It was, just, it was really far out there. But yeah, that's the Infinity Watch. It's a really big one. Whew, I am out of it. I gotta figure out how to do these comic book reviews because I get really winded. It's a lot to go through every single page. But if you guys like that, then I'll keep doing it. I'm, I'm, I'm just not sure if I'm being boring. I, I'm pretty sure it's boring. Uh, but I'm trying my best here. I can get better though. If you guys have any, any tips or advice on how I can make these, better, these videos better for you, let me know. If they're fine the way they are, let me know. Um, I'll be doing more comic book reviews. But yeah, thanks for watching, guys. This is the Infinity Watch Volume 1. There's more. I have the second issue. This is the second issue of the Infinity Watch. I'm not going to be able to do a review on it now because it's overdue. I have to return it. Uh, so I don't know what goes on here in the Infinity, Infinity Watch. I'm not sure if there's any kind of major storylines. Um, I'm just skimming through it. I don't see any recognizable enemies. Oh, this is the guy, this is the Abyss guy from the early issues. Okay, so they continue that storyline. That's cool. So yeah, maybe I need, I need to check this out. I'm wondering who that dude is. Uh, Jim Starlin. Did most of the writing. I don't know any of these guys here. 
I know uh, <laughs> that was the bad artist I didn't like in the last one. But anyways, thanks for watching this video. Uh, please comment what you thought of the video, how I can make them better. And uh, let me know what other comics you would like to see me do. Uh, I'm Andy the Phenom. Check me out on Instagram. I make fan art of stuff like this. Uh, yeah, again, thanks for watching, guys. Until next time, Phenom out.